the Miata is going to freaking love these thick boys. Oh God, it's gonna be great. All right, just dropped off the wheels at the shop. Appreciate you, Ray, we all love you. Um, so. So the mic died, so we had to switch up. I know the audio sucks now, like it's not sexy how it was, but either way, we got the tires in. We're just gonna have to deal with this with the bad audio for the next uh, few clips. Um, but yeah, we got the wheels, we got the tires mounted. It's looking freaking fantastic. We're gonna go ahead and throw these new wheels on. And also, it's definitely a must to de-badge the front. There's a couple Miatas that I follow online realizing that they all de-badge their car, and I think it looks pretty dang good. So we're gonna de-badge this, get this all cleaned up, and I bought a kit as well to get the headlights all cleaned up and restored. So the front end should look a lot better paired with my new wheels and tires, should look pretty good. We also cannot forget to give a huge, huge shout out and thank you to Kumo for sending out these tires. The V730 is an extreme performance summer tire. We are actually going to test these tires out in today's video. We're gonna take the Miata on a few turns, see how well these things handle. They are extremely sticky. Literally, there's just gravel already stuck to the rubber because of how sticky it is. I'm excited to see how it's gonna perform. Let's put these things to the test. Okay, so <clears throat> we put the car back on the ground and we were assuming that it would have, I thought it was gonna be sitting on the ground. I don't know what happened, but um, pretty much what happened was we accidentally built a Miata monster truck. I don't know where the extra like two fists fit in there, but can we show them? I'm not going out. I thought I was going out and showing everyone, but um, bro, my whole head. Can they see it? My, bro, it, my, no, is it? Bro, it's a fist and a hand. Okay, we'll put on the fronts. We'll roll out the car at least to see what it looks like, but um... I'm still lifting to the moon, but... It looks pretty good, actually. Alright, we'll send it. Hold on, let me send it. I'm gonna test out the tires right now. Okay, just pretend that there's no wheel gap. You know what I'm saying? Like, let me get a weird angle on it. And I promise you it's gonna look good. Just imagine the car two inches lower, a lot lower in the rear. That looks awful. But I'm telling you, it's gonna look good. Just just let it happen, just let it happen. Finally, I get to my awaited destination. I actually waited till the next day, so conditions are prime for me to test out these Kumo V730s. Let's see how they do. Oh, shut up. Okay. Okay, and once you get into the range, like these tires here, like a 200 treadwear, super sticky, extreme performance summer, that's when I really, really start noticing the difference of like, right when you're going into a turn, the best way to describe it is kind of just like twitchy, like uh, more connected to the road, more positive feedback, I don't know. That's kind of the words that come to mind. It's like, boom, going to the right hand turn and then just right into the left hand turn, back to the right. It just seems overall more predictable and wild. Also last night, I was literally at the shop till like midnight, I was going in. I thought it would be a really good idea to debadge the front of my car. I was seeing pictures online of Miatas with no front badge and I was like, man, that looks pretty clean. I like that, just like the Subaru, right? So I took it off not knowing that there's gonna be holes underneath and it ended up looking pretty bad, but I'll show you guys when we get back to the shop. I wasn't the biggest fan of it. But the other thing I did, which definitely helped clean up the front end, was the headlights. I finally got the time to clean those up. Just use a pretty basic headlight restoration kit. And honestly, the results came out super, super good. I'm really, really happy with them. Took me probably about 20, 30 minutes each headlight. And uh, yeah, results, super hyped on. So I'll show you all that once we get back to the shop. So here is what the front end looks like. Headlights, super happy with. They honestly came out better than I was expecting. But here's the major issue. Obviously the front badge is off. It's right here. 
it's all messed up. I can't even put it back on anymore because these little tabs, which, you know, obviously I wasn't aware of, there's like little tabs on all four corners. I thought it was just gonna come off normal. I guess earlier Miatas, you could just take it off, but that's what it looked like before. I was expecting it to look freaking amazing, but now I have holes in my bumper. On camera, I guess it doesn't look too bad. It looks a little bit cleaner in my opinion, but might put a new one back on. Hmm, we'll see what happens. Now, obviously the car still looks like a freaking monster truck. Like I said, we're waiting on suspension. Hopefully it should be here pretty soon. Hopefully within the week, we're gonna cross our fingers for it but I can't wait to lower this thing down. Um, I think it's obviously going to handle better. It's going to look better. It's gonna be freaking amazing. Also, if you're looking at this, new one's coming as well. We're waiting on that. And yeah, I mean, overall, I'm actually pretty hyped uh, with everything. The car handles freaking amazing, grippy tires, smaller diameter wheels. It's just freaking going to be so, so good. I mean, come on. It looks kind of good, even though it's still a monster truck. Okay, whatever. So I think that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to catch you on the next one. Peace out.